with the suspect being held on that $1 million cash bond, neighbors say they're starting to feel a little relief. Jack Schernitz lives just two houses down from the home searched yesterday. He says police officers telling the public the community is no longer in danger puts his mind slightly at ease. However, he says he will always think of the 10-year-old's death when taking walks on the nearby trail, something he does with his own children in the summers, noting a case like this does impact his mindset when it comes to parenting. I feel like it's going to make a lot more parents be more protective and will never want their kids out of their view. I mean, and it's one of those really difficult things. It's like, you know, I don't want to overparent just because of one isolated incident. Chernitz describes this neighborhood as normally a nice and quiet area, adding he continues to struggle to comprehend all that's happened this week.